be right back. I'm going to go to the flower fields, pick some flowers. See you in like 10 hours. Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me? Hey everyone, it's Nicole, and today I'm showing you five ideas or five ways you can elevate your flower fields um, that aren't just the well wind turbines or just plain flowers. So um, I was inspired by a lot of people um, and you may have seen some of these builds before just in other ways. I just thought some of the ways I'm showing you today look so picturesque in a flower field. So. If you um, like this content, please like and subscribe, and yeah, let's get into it. The first idea we have here is a flower crown workshop area. I saw um, a flower crown workshop area on a forest core island a while back, and I wanted one on my flower field here. so. I'm putting the path down. I wanted to break up the green with the pathing so it wasn't just a block of green. I've used this blue stall code on several other stalls on my island. I can't get enough of it. It is precious. If you're wanting um, the code to this stall, it's in my Metalcore mood board video. Make sure you check it out. This creator also has a bunch of other really cute stall codes um, that I'm going to have to download for my future islands as well. I wanted to use a lot of blues in my flower crown workshop area to bring more of the blue out in the flowers because I use so much white. Um, and I, I love these codes put together. I love the pastel blue. It's just coming along so well. And now placing these crowns on the table. I can't tell you how many times I clicked wear on those flower crowns sometimes when I was um, thinking about the ideas I wanted to do. I just kept putting them on. It was very annoying. And so here is the final product, a beautiful flower crown workshop area in the meadow. So for number two, I have been dying to use those flower basket umbrella codes that I have had saved for months now since we got all of those um, extra codes and so I thought a flower picking area would be super cute so I filled it in with um, some old brick pathing first again to break up that block of green and then I used these cute flower basket umbrellas um, and then drop some other flowers on the ground and that was it. This idea was so simple. It took me less than five minutes to complete it.
And so just finishing the final touches, grabbing some flowers to round out that square green area. And our final product is a flower picking area in the middle of our flower field. For this third idea, probably every one of you has done a painting spot before. I love them on cliffs, on by rivers and water features, but I love the idea of having one in the middle of the flower field. Just adding in some flowers to make it less square and our final product is a quaint painting spot in the middle of a flower field meadow with beautiful flowers all around. Honestly, what is more romantic than being proposed to in a meadow or a flower field to the love of your life? It would be amazing. So setting up this cute little proposal spot with this little heart rug, um, it turned out super, super simple, but also super cute. I mean, I only added three items, which were candles, the ring, and um, the cute little heart rug. And for the fifth idea, it is so simple as well. It took me less than five minutes, but adding a little rounded pond in the middle of a flower field just to break it up with, you know, not it just being a wall of flowers. Um, and just adding a simple wooden bucket, it, it elevated it. It just gave it some, I don't even know how to explain it, like a texture that wasn't there before, just breaking it up, you know? So another very simple and um, easy idea to elevate your flower fields. And here's the final product. After adding that wooden bucket, you have a simple, cute little water pond area in your flower field. And that's all the ideas. If you like these ideas, let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. Um, I happen to use two of the ideas in this video on my flower field, so let's see which ones I use. I had to have the flower crown workshop area on my island. It came out beautiful. I also added the flower picking station on the right side of my flower field and it just kind of pulled it all together. Um, that's it for today. Make sure to like and subscribe and have a wonderful day.